After initiating a purchase requisition and selecting the best supplier based on received quotations, it's time to create a purchase order to formalize the procurement process. In this tutorial, we demonstrate how to create a purchase order using ME21M transaction code. To access the Create Purchase Order screen, open the ME21N and press Enter. Instead of creating the purchase order from scratch, we will demonstrate how to reference a Request for Quotation RFQ using the Document Overview area. To do this, you will click the drop-down on the Selection Variant button and choose Request for Quotations. Then, there's a pop-up screen, Purchasing Documents. Put 5,000 in max number of hits, then click Execute. For this course, you will select the one ending in 004. You will click it and choose Adopt. To declutter the screen by clicking Document Overview Off for better visibility. You can see that you are about to purchase 1,000 of this raw material. The delivery date is set to four weeks from today. This field is editable if you need this product sooner. You can also see the net price is $37.50 per each. Look at the header and click the Delivery Invoice tab. You can see that the payment term is set to 001, which is pay immediately. We'll say that this vendor has extended your net 30 payment terms. You will click the Match Code button and choose NT30. There are many fields in the purchase order that are available depending on your requirements, but for now, you are ready to save. Click Save. You are now have a success message that show your standard purchase order was created and a document number, which is your PO number. You might want to save it somewhere for future use. Your PO has now been created and it can be sent to your supplier so you get the materials you need on time.